Okay, good morning, Grade 5. We are starting. This is actually Lesson 5 of our Patterns Unit. I know it says Lesson 6, but we skipped a problem-solving part of the unit. So um, the numbers that I have on the smart board are different than the numbers you have for the lesson. This is Lesson 5 for uh, Tuesday, uh, May 19th. Um, this is not a hard lesson at all. We're just coming to the very end of our unit. Lesson five today, lesson six tomorrow. Pretty straightforward, solving equations. Um, today we're going to be solving equations that use addition and subtraction. Tomorrow you'll be solving equations that use multiplication and division. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, here's our warm-up question right here. And it is, um, how many counters are in the bag and how do you know? So um, we've got three counters plus the bag. Now this bag here, we'll just we'll call that that's our variable B. Three counters plus the counters in the bag plus B will equal uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Will equal twelve counters. So you have to then come up with what does B equal? So B would have to equal what? Well, 3 plus what will give us 12. B has to equal 9. Now, we know that answer just because we should be able to look at that and see that the answer is going to be 9. If you didn't know it, you could guess and test with some different numbers and try it out. You could have guessed that it was 3 plus 7. You do 3 plus 7 in your head, well, no, 3 plus 7 is 10. So you can try a few numbers and guess and test it, but a question like that, you should be able to understand fairly quickly that B will equal 9. Here's another question. Rui has $35. After he spent some money, we don't know how much he spent. We have to find that out. He has $19 left. Um, how much money did Rui spend? So we could look at it as starting off with 35, take away the money that he spent, equals 19. You have to find out how much money he spent. So you have to do that in your head. And it suggests a couple of ways you can solve this problem. Okay, go back to it. That's our, that's our equation. 35 minus m equals 19. So you could also figure out that you could write an equation that says to find out how much money it is, I could say 35, the money he had, take away 19, the money he has left, will give us m. And for this one, I'm using mental calculation in my mind. I know that 20... To go from 20 to 35 is 15, and I'm one less than 20, but 19, so it must be 16. So M equals $16. And if I want to, at the side here, I could check it out. 35 take away 16. Uh, 5 take away 6, bottom bigger, better borrow back. 15 take away 6 is 9. 2 take away 1 is 1. So there's my 19. So M equals 6 works. Another problem here, uh, Wendy washed 72 windows in an apartment building. She had 98 windows to wash altogether. How many more windows does Wendy have to wash? So we can write an equation to solve this problem. And we're going to let the variable W represent the number of windows Wendy still has to wash. Now, we know that the total number, we know the total number of windows, that's 98. 98 equals the windows already washed, which is 72, plus the windows that she still has to wash. So there's our equation. Uh, 98 equals 72 plus W. Or you could have written it as 72, the windows that she has already washed, plus the windows that she still has to wash, equals 98 windows altogether. Either one of those equations would do. You could even say that uh, you could write the equation, well, 98, the total number of windows, take away the number of windows that she's washed, which is 72, 
will tell you how many windows she still has left to wash. That equation is fine as well. So, in the book it tells us there are two ways to solve this problem. One is called guess and test. So here's our equation, and you guess a number for W. Then test it to see if you are correct. So if your guess is 10, you could test it. 72 plus 10 equals 82. Well, that number 82 is too low because we know that she has got 98 windows altogether to wash. So your next guess here is 20. So you test, or so your next guess is 20, you test it out. 72 plus 20 equals 92. This number is too low, but it's closer, so you want to guess slightly higher. So we guess 25. 72 plus 25 is 97. This is very close. We want to just make one more guess, go one or higher. Our next guess is 26. 72 plus 26 is 98. And that's our that's the number we want. So W has to equal 26. That's the solution we're looking for. Now you can get that using guess and test. Or you can just get it through inspection. In other words, by inspection means you look at or you inspect the equation and you try to figure out what the answer is. We might also call that mental math. So here's another version of that same question. 98 equals 72 plus W. Which number do we add to 72 to get to 98? Well, here they're using subtraction. 98 take away 72 will tell us what W is. It's 26. So Wendy has 26 more windows to wash. Now, for some of you, that's a lot of explanation for a question that you might get quite easily using inspection. Okay. But for others, you might need a bit more of that explanation to help you understand how to do it. So now, in the Google document that you have for this lesson, you're going to solve the questions here. Solve the answers. And all you simply have to tell me is what C equals. So for 1A, 20 equals C plus 1. Well, C has to equal what? What plus 1 will give me 20? 19. 19 plus 1 will give me 20. So C equals 19. Um, let me see now. Let me just pull this down a wee bit here. Um, for number 2. It involves subtraction. 10 equals n minus 1. Or n minus 1 equals 10. So let's see, what does n equal? n would have to equal, would it equal 6? 6 plus 1, or 6 minus 1? Well, 6 minus 1 is 5, so it's not 6. What take away 1 would give us 11, uh, would give us 10? n would have to be 11, because 11 take away 1 is 10. If you think, if, you, if, it get, if it's difficult for you to understand, um, write it the way that B was written. N take away 2 equals 10. What must N equal? What take away 2 is 10? N has to equal 12, because 12 take away 2 is 10. So on the Google Doc, you're going to answer each of these questions and then remember to turn it in. Once you've done that, you'll then do the first two parts of the challenge page for this lesson.